Welcome back. In this video, we'll learn how to use the fire effect. So in order to have a fire effect, we need a source. And so I'm going to make a log. So I use a cylinder. I move it over here a little closer. And then I'm going to change the material. Uh, let me go back to the home menu. Material, I'm going to make wood planks. Yeah. And then I'm going to change the color, make that a nice brown. Uh, let me see what that looks like. Uh, I think I'm going to change the material to wood instead of wood planks. Uh, huh, it doesn't look that great either. Let's see, wood, wood planks. I guess, I guess we'll stick with wood planks. Let me try another color. Yeah, I don't know which one looks better. Is it wood or wood planks? Let's try wood again. Yeah, I guess wood planks is the better one. Okay, so we have a log. Yeah, it looks like a log. Okay, and this is going to be our um, fire source. So I'm just going to rename this to log. And then we're going to add, let me go back to the model menu. We're going to add a fire effect. So I'm going to go ahead here. It's the second one, fire. And immediately we have fire coming off of this thing. Okay, fantastic. So let's look at the, let's look at the, um, properties that we can change for fire. Well, we can change the color, so you could make it not yellow. And that, there's actually two colors. There's a, a, a primary color and a secondary color. So if we make the primary color purple, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, looks pretty good. And if I want to make my secondary color, maybe a dark blue, let's see what that would look like. Yeah, it looks nice. So we've got this like violet fire that has these blue highlights on top. It's pretty good. What else do we have? We have um, enabled. We can turn this off. Turn it back on. We have heat. Let's see what that does. Oh, heat is like how high it is. Yeah. So let me let me zoom out. Yeah. See, it's now it's going higher. I wonder how big I can make this. Make this a hundred. Eh, doesn't really change it too much. Oh, I guess 25 is the biggest you can make it. I'm just gonna leave it at 10. Uh, yeah, that works. And then we have a size. You can make this bigger. Let's try 20. Let's probably make a, make a really big fire. There we go. <laughs> That's way too big for our log. So we'll leave that at, let me see, what does a two look like? Oh, it's a little tiny fire. Let's make that a five. Okay, and then we have a time scale again, and with this, we can slow down the fire. So let's see what happens if I make it really slow. Oh, wow, that looks pretty neat. At 0.5, it's a slow fire, but I think actually for fire, it looks best when it's at one for the time scale. Okay, so we've added a fire effect to our log. Uh, the other thing we could do is you can have more than one effect. So if we, if we select our log and then add smoke to this you scroll down to the effects here it is smoke now we can have both i can have both fire and smoke and the smoke effect needs to be uh, changed as far as properties one thing is let's make this rise velocity of five so this goes up faster let's see what that looks like um and it is probably too big um let me make that rise velocity even faster, maybe a 10. I wonder if I can make the size smaller. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Um, the only thing is, I wonder if I can make this less than one, say 0 0.5. Oh yeah, and then the rise velocity, let's make it rise even faster. 20, oh, that goes really fast. <laughs> Let's try opacity of one. Hmm. Size, time scale. I wonder what happens if I make the time scale smaller. And again, you know, I'm just experimenting here. Oh, that looks good. The only thing I wish that is that it would um, rise in more of a straight line. But what if I make this a two? Oh, I see. Yeah, not quite what I was looking for. I was, I guess I was looking for something a little straighter that would just go up faster. You know, you can just experiment with these values. Um, with a five, 
If it looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe the opacity is just too big. Maybe make that like a 0 0.25. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, actually that looks better. Yeah, so I changed the opacity and now we have this fire that has smoke as well. Okay, so you can combine these, right? You can have more than one effect there. And uh, let me change the color on my smoke to make it stand out a little better. So instead of violet, I'm going to make this like a green. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. I have a green, green fire with a blue highlight and then white smoke coming off. And I can change the color on the smoke as well. Make that maybe a light green. Let's see what that looks like. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got some uh, crazy colored smoke uh, coming off of our log. Okay, so I learned a couple of things. Learned how to use the fire effect and that you can have more than one effect um, attached to a single source. Okay, and then we played around with some of the settings. And that is it for the fire effect. I will see you in the next video.